Hello everyone, in this video, I would like to talk about how to install a TP-Link smart switch into a four-way wiring situation. Now, in my previous video, I talked about how to install a TP-Link three-way smart switch into a regular three-way wiring situation. This is where you have two switches controlling one light. But what if at your home, um, you have three switches controlling one light, or maybe even more, four or five switches controlling one light. Then um, you will have some four-way switches involved in there. So what do we do? Because I don't think there's any four-way smart switch in the market. Uh, what if in this situation you want to install a smart switch so that you can control the light remotely? Um, so before we talk about how to install a smart switch, I would like to talk about the theory of a four-way switch or a theory of a four-way wiring situation. So I drew this di simple diagram, hopefully uh, can help us. So uh, in this diagram, you can see that um, we have the hotline, the energy coming into the first switch. The first switch is actually a regular three-way switch. Uh, it will then arrive at the four-way switch in here go this way and then it will arrive the second three-way switch and then arrive the light fixture and then coming back at the neutral wire and then in this situation there's energy coming into the light fixture and the light fixture is on now if i flip any of the switches here in this way now you will find out the energy is cut off to the light the light is turned off now if i flip any of the three switches again for example the four-way switch here this is how you uh, flip a four-way switch. Now you will see that there's energy coming to the light fixture again. The light is turned on again. And then certainly if you flip this switch again, now you'll find out the energy is cut off. You are turning off the light. And then certainly if you just flip the four-way switch again, uh, now you will find out that uh, there's energy coming into the light fixture again, and then the light is turned on. So this is how a four-way wearing situation works. Now to install smart switch in here, uh, you will only need to buy one TP-Link smart three-way switch. And then you only need to replace this switch, the first three-way switch, uh, with this smart switch in here. Um, I only tried with TP-Link uh, I know it works in here. Uh, I, I'm, I never tried other brand, so I'm not sure if this method works for other brand. If you know any other brand, please feel free to let me know. Um, so you only need to replace one. You do not need to replace a four-way switch. You do not need to replace the second three-way switch. Uh, you can just keep the original DOM switch here and here. Uh, and also, uh, if you prefer to uh, adjust a the brightness of the light. Uh, you can even buy a regular, a dumb three-way dimmer switch in here so that you can adjust the brightness in here. Um, so um, this is the, the only switch you, you need to replace with your smart switch. Uh, now uh, you may ask, how do I know um, this one, right? How do I find out? Because from the outside, they all look the same, right? Um, but here's how you find out. If you open them up, uh, certainly this switch is very easy to spot on because a four-way switch, it has four connections. Now, what's the difference between this switch and this switch? The difference is on the common line. So the common line into this switch will always have energy coming in. But then the common line of this switch, if you disconnect it here, it will not have energy coming in. So this is how you find out which one is the first three-way three, three -way switch, and which this is how you find out which switch to replace with a smart switch. All right, uh, enough about theory. Let's get into practice. All right, here is the four-way switch in my basement. This is switch number one at the top of the stair. And then here's the switch number two at the bottom of the stair, go pack. And then we got switch number three here. 
kind of interesting design though. Uh, so now which one of these three switches uh, are we supposed to replace with our three-way smart switch? Let's find it out. Now, um, before you do anything, uh, you, you need to make sure that uh, you find your breaker box and turn off the power and then use voltage tester just to test before you even open up any of these uh, covers. Just to make sure everyone is safe. Uh, if you're not sure about this, please find the electrician. Alright, so now the power is off. Just want to double check. And you can see uh, this is a three-way switch. Uh, so that means this one can be either this one on my diagram or this one. Uh, we are not sure. Actually, if I look into details, uh, this is actually a four-way switch and they just use it as three-way. And then it says input here and output here. So um, that basically saying the power coming in this way, coming out that way. So my guess is this switch is actually this one. Uh, show me the, this one to go to the light fixture. Uh, because it actually tell me input output. Uh, it's actually pretty simple in this case. However, if in your situation, this is a regular three-way switch and you don't know whether this switch is this one or this one, the way to find out is um, we will disconnect the common line here and put a wire nut on the top just to protect. And then you turn the power back on to try to see whether this has power or not. If it does not have power, that means it goes to light fixture. If it has power, that means it's coming from the hot. Um, I just for education purpose, I'm gonna do it uh, just to show. So anyway, this is a three-way switch. Next step, I'm gonna disconnect it. Now uh, let's go to see our next switch. So this one, as you can see, this is actually a four-way switch. Uh, it has four cables connected to it. If you can show the other side of it, see four, two cable on one side, two cable on the other side. So this is a four-way switch. So that means this is this switch. We are not going to do anything with this switch. We'll just keep the dumb switch in here. Um, now let's look at number three. So this is the number three. And then as you can see, this is just a regular three-way switch. Um, if you read in detail, it actually says common. So this is a common line. These are the two travelers. And then normally we need to decide whether this is this switch or this switch. Um, uh, in our case, I think this is most likely the hot one. Um, but then let's try. So what I'm going to do next is uh, I will disconnect this cable in here. Um, let me find the tool. I'll disconnect it. Put a wire nut on it. Uh -oh. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing with a three-way switch downstairs. I'm not going to show you in the video just to save time. And then I will turn the power back on. All right, let's do it. All right, so the power is on now. Um, just be careful. Don't touch anything. Um, so as you can see, I disconnect the common line and I put a wire nut in there. So let's test it out. All right, turns out this common line does not have power. So that means this switch is this one. So my guess is right. This switch is this one means uh, we should just keep the dump switch in here unless you want to put a dimmer in there. Um, and then the other one is this one we're going to replace. Now, just for education purpose, let's go upstairs and check out the other one. Uh, 
Uh, now you can see for this one, uh, again, we got the common line disconnect connected. We put the wire nut in there. Let's try it. This one has a power. That means this is a switch, number one here. And this is a switch we need to replace with a three-way smart switch. All right, now I'm going to turn off the power again and uh, install the smart switch here. All right, uh, now my smart switch is connected. As you can see, I have the uh, neutral to the neutral wire bundle. This is the ground to the ground bundle. And then these are the two travelers. This is a hotline uh, with power. Of course, now power is off uh, to, to this connection. So next, what I'm going to do is I will mount it up, turn the power back on, and uh, get connected to the app. All right, the switch is mounted. Now I'm going to connect the switch to my app. Plus sign, add the device, I'll add a smart switch. This is a three-way switch. You see this orange and green light flashing? That means the switch is not really connected to anything. Uh, it's mounted, orange and green. Wait a couple of seconds. Or maybe longer. Connect. This is my home Wi-Fi. Uh, make sure I'm on the Wi-Fi. Nope. Weird. All right, I'm on my Wi-Fi. I'll call it a base. And stairs. Switch safe. How many switches? Just one switch. Sounds good. All right, everything is connected now. Now let's try it out. So I can certainly use a switch in my regular way. Turn it on. You see when I turn it on, it shows on, and I turn it off. It shows off. I can certainly turn it on from my app, turn it off from my app. Now let's go downstairs to find this switch to see whether this is working. All right, so remember this is actually this four-way switch sitting in the middle. Um, so let's try it out. So I can turn the light off this way. Now look at my app. It turned off. It takes some time, I guess, maybe for that smart switch upstairs to, to, to know it, but it's still working. And then I can turn it on, right? I can turn it off again, right? I can... It's off. Now I can turn it on. Now it's on. Now let's check out the third switch in here. Same thing. I can turn it off. And then it shows off on the app. I can turn it on from the app. I just switch it, now it's off, switch it again, it's on, it shows on on my app. All right, so, so this is a video to show how to install a three-way smart switch in a four-way wearing situation, because I have three switches in here. Now, if in your house you have four switches, five, six, even ten switches controlling one light, same idea. You just need to find out where the first switch is coming from the hotline and replace it with your three-way smart switch from TP-Link. All right, um, hopefully you find my video helpful. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe.